Ooh, is that wine refreshing or what? It is such another corker today. It is. How can you stand that fur hat on your head? Oh, I know. The fur hat is just... It matches so well with my new outfit. Though. I like your outfit. Thank you you know, very we were much. able to go shopping today at Macy's and Wilmer. We had such a good time. And we're able to get some new digs that we don't have to worry about ripping when we put them on. Yep. So hopefully you won't hear any rips as we're no. uh, doing our filming today. Yes. And, and, uh, and we have to admit there were lots of laughs as these outfits are very fetching if you could see the whole thing. As a matter of fact, I came home with a romper that I thought was a dress. <laughs> And assure you, if I had to pee in a hurry in this, I would never make it because I need help getting it off. <laughs> Rompers and old ladies, they don't, don't mix. mix. I, I've hit the age uh, where elastic waist is my friend. I laugh as when I was a little kid, you know, you see an old ladies wearing elastic pants and I think, oh, that's never going to be me. Well, guess what? I still love you, Thelma. Good, I'm glad. What are we going to talk about today, Louise? Well, it's kind of fun. Today we're going to split just a little bit. Because like we talked about in our last episode where we have some differing personality quirks when we sew. That we do. Our time spent in the evening also differs a little bit. She works with sheep. No. <laughs> she works with wool. I am a farm girl, you, <laughs> you know. Are. True and, and true. Uh, I should have a cup of tea because I like English paper pieces. <laughs> Yes, that would work. You know, there is English in our ancestry. Oh, so, perfect. I'm just following you know, in my yep. ancestor roots. We'll go with your ancestry and yes. my farm bringing up. And See, it works well it with our uh, hobbies that does. we enjoy doing in the evening when there's so much to watch on the TV. Yeah, so much to watch on TV. I've actually started watching cooking shows. I think my husband maybe raises his eyebrows sometimes when he comes in. But well, we learned how to make cheese curds the other night, which is really cool. And we all like cheese curds. We do. Hard to go wrong with them. Well, what, well are you going to start with one of these lovely, wonderful rounds? Well, I can. So, per back in the day, when we had the quilt shop, Don't and spill your wine. wool became my thing. Um, and as our wool group uh, grew, I decided to do something that would be a monthly event. And so I came up with this background here that you see, it was square, it's called Penny then, Around. It had uh, multicolored circles on it for the pennies, which tied everything that I ever did in the center together. This, to this date, has probably been one of the best-selling little mini patterns that ever. we've ever uh, done. And I've come out with six-inch squares, and they do well, but nothing to compares nothing to compares what to these. these little guys are. Yeah. So. But we have something brand new that we're hoping it's at least a circle. And so you get to see it today. It debuts you do. today. Woohoo! So anyway, when I started out with these little rounds, and I couldn't some. believe the stack, well, let's take some of these. We did flowers. Each month we did a flower. The lady slipper, our state flower. Tulips for the spring, which this one I actually used cotton around the outer edge. Uh, I don't do that very often, and I believe I only ever did it one time. Daffodils. A poinsettia. Pansies. The good old lilac. That's one of my favorites. And part of it, if you zoom in, the texture on that is really cool. It's a very dimensional project. Sunflowers. The good old bleeding hearts. You which, always have such a beautiful bleeding heart bush out yeah. next to the garage. Hollyhocks, which I remember growing up as a kid out in front of our house. And in the back of the shop, believe it or not, there was a huge hollyhock patch. Yeah, they've always been one of my favorite old-fashioned flowers. And then we have a sprinkling can full of posies. And then next we moved on to spring. So we have a, a rabbit, Theodore. You've probably seen this before, Daisy B. You saw it on one of our What's New episodes. Yep, taken after that. Uh, just a simple cross for Easter time. And then we move into just some everyday things that there's a sheep with a willow tree, which this is always a pop, a pop, ah, I'm blank. And a popular uh, um, pattern. These, if you've ever done needle felting, there's wool roving for the sheep heads and the feet. Gives it some dimension. 
That project was actually fashioned after an old foot plate that I have in the Which cupboard. some of you who had been in the quilt shop probably got to eat cookies off of. Yeah, it did make its home there. This was done for June where we were in the heart of strawberry she season. She made some delicious strawberry jam last weekend. I tried weekend. my hand at that. I went up to Brower Berries and had them pick me a quart of berries and we made some jam. I tried Dresden. doing some quilt patterns. So the Dresden in an Ohio star. So I only ever did a couple of that type of look. Then we moved on to my favorite fall. So we have some fall patterns here. This cute little turkey, they're kind of hard to find. His name's Walter. He's cute, I like Walter. Stuart the Scarecrow. And I changed up the outer edge on this one, made it a sawtooth and added colored um, circles in there, pennies in there. This little guy too, we've done several times. This is the original one. We've done other quilts from that. And then my favorite biblical saying to everything there is a season just simply done with some leaves. Looks like you have some spring. We've got two more cute chicks, little which chicks. are always popular. After a long winter, this we're ready to see This one is one of my life. favorites. I love the beehive. The barn. Good old fashioned barn, missing some cows and a salt box salt house, box which salt. they were always popular. And I love owls. Yeah, that one has your Woot. name on it, Lacey. <laughs> hoot hoot. And then at one point, we even did one that was a heart shape for Valentine's Day. And they all fit interchangeably right up on here. And surprisingly, I only have one snowman, and his name is Stumpy because he is rather short fat stumpy so yep they all interchanged on the background the one that you see on our background here actually was designed off of a dear lady who would come in our quilt shop whenever she came in fact sometimes she would just drive from south dakota to clara city because she needed to get out of the house and we were the place she came to and one day when she came into the shop she had a sweatshirt on that had this design and so I asked if she thought it would be okay if I took a picture of her sweatshirt and the butterflies are free, a little mat evolved from her sweatshirt. So tell me about sipping tea. Oh, my tea your tipping. Paper piecing. So I enjoy doing this in the evenings and traveling with it. So we're gonna start with one inch hexes. And I've learned that these little two and a half inch packs are definitely your friend, but you saw this before. This was Traveling Tapestry, um, the very first project I ever did. And I um, am kind of weird. I have a really hard time letting the sewing machine touch these once they're done. And so everything you see here has been hand quilted um, with the exception of probably one, but even the hexes were tacked in place. So that's a table runner. Uh, this one's not finished yet, but this was a free sew along that we had on our Facebook page called The Looking Glass. And we'll each take one of these. I'll give this one to my mom because that's her favorite. I like playing around with things to see if you can. Our dogs always like to join us. Um, it's the same pattern, but that one, the center's filled in. This one, it's left open so you could easily stick a candle right in the center of it. I also like to use craft belt in the inside of those projects just because it doesn't stretch. So this is reversible. It's also done using one inch hexes and has no filler but the papers. This little guy. Added some pretty embroidery in the center of that one. And we've reminisced about many bus trips gone by, and this, for those of you that have traveled with us, was our bus trip the last time we went to Missouri, featuring some prairie points. This was a joint effort. I made the hexes, and my mom finished the sample. Those bus ladies like making hexes on as this we travel. This one is called Abigail Lane. Adding that embroidery in those areas that come together. This is a two inch hexi and I think this was one of the last projects yes, that we put together on our bus trip so bus ladies will recognize that too. Some more embroidery. And now we're going to move to three quarter inch hexis. So this one you saw in our what's new called Eye of the Storm. Speaking of storm we've had a good laugh 
while maybe not laugh. We are very intrigued by the dust bowl that's floating over the top of the ocean from the Sahara Desert. Who would think? Very fascinating. As long as a camel doesn't come along with the dust, I think we'll, we'll be, be okay. okay. So this little guy also uses three quarter inch hexes. That's one of my favorites. I love the colors of that one. This is three quarter inch hexes. With that great and embroidery. embroidery. Yeah. Embroidery works so well with um, doing little hexes. I ran this one over on one of the quilt shows we were at. So that's got a good little <laughs> hole in it now. <laughs> Shh, don't tell. Louise. Those of you that joined us for our sew along will recognize this little guy called the Last Bloom with leather buttons. That uses 5 8 inch hexes. This was our first project with those. And then we, uh, again, you'll notice not much has changed on this, but this incorporates pentagons with half inch hexes. And the half inch is my favorite size to work with. You can get two perfect half inch hexes out of these things, which is kind of nice. There's not much waste. Loving those candy packs. So this is the in the process Charlotte's Web. My mom has the finished Charlotte's Web. It's always this fun to see them done in another colorway. Little guy is called the Flower Mill. This one, um, all the quilting on it was done by the machine. Just the hexes were tacked in place. This one is called Moana Falls. I like that the edges aren't square. They're yeah. kind of a funky shape, embroidery in the center of the wheels. This is the only project you'll see that I actually tacked the hexagons down by machine. I stitched about an eighth of an inch all the way around just to show, because we get asked that all the time, can I put them down by machine? You can. And then these are my favorite. So I did take after my mom a little bit, added in wool applique. So this is called the Great Pumpkin. And Moonlit Wishes. Like a nervous twitch over there. <laughs> you know, we're taping much earlier today. It is not playtime, so I don't understand it. And uh, Coley Star. We have one dog snoring. Yeah, and two play. It's kind of a unique deal. And then the ones everybody says we're crazy with. These are quarter inch hexes. That's still very, very pretty. Oh. This little one's called Black Eyed Susan, which is named after a lovely lady that we got to know in our quilt shop. Whom we talked about today. She made strawberry margarita jam that she dumped over the ice cream. I kept mine alcohol free, you know, in case kids ate it. She was always good for boozy treats. Remember when she, she brought in that rum bunt cake and it about knocked you over when she took the lid off. It tasted amazing. And uh, this little guy is called Circle of Hope. That concludes the quarter inch. And then to have just a little bit of fun, we have a mixture of them. So this is called Magnolia Blossoms, I guess. And that incorporates three quarter inch hexes, half inch hexes, three eighth inch hexes, and one inch hexes, excuse me, going around the outer edge. This is the one that has one inch hexes and three quarter inch hexes. You know, speaking of those boozy trees, I just needed a drink. Oh, I noticed that in your hastiness to get down here to film, you left an earring up at the house. <laughs> Oh my, I am not complete today. <laughs> this little guy stacks hexes a one inch and three quarter inch with some embroidery on the edge. And last but not least, nobody's ever saw this guy. But this one stacked him like a snowflake. One I inch, like that. three quarter inch, and a half inch. And that concludes my English tea party. I didn't get a scone. Next time. We'll do a rain check, an IOU. Promises. But don't Promises. IOU or rain check them on this new uh, cute little thing you've got, because no, this is so really fun. I'm quite excited about this. Uh, when I did virtual market, they were showing these new stands that were made, brand new company. I can't even tell you who the company is, but they had two different shapes, and you probably can just see it there. But So it is a actual stand with a base. So it looks like this. 
and they did one that was a star shape and one that was a complete round. So actually our round patterns that we showed you before would work on that circle. Well, of course the circle was back ordered, but we did get our star and when it came in, it wasn't exactly like, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it because of these points out here. So as I stood and looked at it, I decided that I would make a star background piece. So you can see that with multicolored points. And then we can do a brand new round series. So I've got little daisies. I left my daisies ornamental. Sunflowers for the upcoming sunflower season. I don't think he's going to stick on there. Oh, he's a little kitty wampus. I guess so he's in one of those windy days we've had. At this point, this has been my favorite because I love oh, fall. Yeah, absolutely. So a pumpkin. I've done a snowman. The dogs really like the snowman. That's their favorite. And then just simply a snowflake, which isn't completely done yet, and a little bit smaller circle on this one that says, let it snow. And I have all kinds of ideas yet to do. I've got a witch's booth that I'm working on up at the house. And we're going to make it such that if you were to purchase the circular one, all of our little rounds that we're doing for our star will also work on our circle. So I'm quite excited about that, anxious for my little uh, circle stand to come into the shop so we can get the other background done. And we hope that by the end of July, beginning of August, we will have uh, the first patterns ready for you to purchase if you're a person that likes to work with wool. They are really cute. I think that's very exciting. I'm excited about it. Very, very exciting. Wool is still my favorite. I love to work with cotton, but you know, in the evenings I need that outlet of stitching so that my day is complete. So just like you. Absolutely. It's good to have stuff like that. So we hope that you're faring through this warm stretch of weather again. Be, be uh, careful <laughs> with the fireworks and the alcohol consumption if you're doing that on the 4th of July. Um, we wish you a banging good time. And, and until we'll next week, next time. we'll see you later. Have a great day.